whether you are an application developer or an administrator we come across these terminology quite often sometimes we use these terms interchangeably without uh, knowing the differences the objective of this presentation is to help us all understand the definition of these terms and how they differ from each other what is a character set our world has more than 100 plus popular languages if you take india as an example we speak telugu tamil kannada hindi and of course english an american speaks american english a person from british speaks british english each of these languages has its own characters for example in english language we have lower case alphabets upper case alphabets digits a character set is nothing but a collection of these characters very simple definition the collection of characters is nothing but a character set however when we actually go to store these characters in a computer computer does not understand these characters what computer understands is only zeros and ones so each character in a character set is given a unique identifier or a number which is called code point in computers these code points are represented by one or more bytes if we talk about characters from english character set such as alphabet a you just require one byte whereas when you pick up a character from chinese character set you require multi byte you cannot store it in 8 bits or one byte you need multi byte character representation if this is a code point code point is a unique way of representing a character if that is a code point encoding is a mechanism to map code points with some bytes so that characters can be read or written uniformly across different operating systems or platforms in short in simple terms you have a character set you apply encoding what you get is the code points which are part of this code set some of the popular code sets are ascii which is useful to represent the english characters and unicode which can represent characters from any of these 100 plus languages in short encoding is a mechanism that converts or gives a gives an opportunity to represent these character sets as a code sets now what is a locale a locale is more of a regional setting a locale is an explicit model and definition of a native language environment if i take currency in usa and currency in india this is called as 1 million most importantly look at the decimal separators here and the way in india decimal separators are used this locale actually helps to cater such kind of regional differences too basically this locale has three parts the first part is a base language for example english which is represented uh, in a two let us en country or a territory that is using this base language if you are in us us if you are in britain it's a great britain the code set utf-8 utf-16 utf-32 are forms of unicode representation what is unicode unicode 
is a code set using which you can represent any character out of these 100 plus languages. We can call it as it's a de facto standard of code sets now. UTF-8 is uh, one such Unicode format. So putting all these three together, locale here can be represented as English underscore US dot UTF-8. If, you are, if your applications or if your users are using the application from US location, they can set this. If you are from a Great Britain, you can set this. Still, it's a base language is English, but the territory is US or a GB, Great Britain. And the code set we use is a UTF-8. Generally, this locale is specified by lang variable. Generally, it's specified by lang variable. Let me show you that in my environment. I already have a RHL 7.5. OS running here. This is a 7.5. Now, if you grab this variable lang, this is what you get English base language, US is a territory, and the code set is UTF 8. Like I said, if you are working from England, probably you can say en underscore gb great britain dot utf 8. By default, this information is set, and, and there are a bunch of other locale specific settings we need to be comfortable with. So, in the next slides, I would be explaining this LC underscore collate and LC underscore C type. Okay. Pretty much most of them are inherited or taken from or related to this lang here. Depends on this locale. If you want to see list of all the locales available that you can choose from, you have to say locale space minus A or hyphen A. If you say locale hyphen A, you see bunch of locales available. Even if I say locale hyphen A, grab for EN underscore, English itself uh, as a base language is available in so many territories. So far, we understood what is a character set, what is a code set, how encoding helps you to convert from character set to code set, and the language, the locale, the basic locales. Let's look at what is a collation order, LC underscore collate. This LC underscore collate is majorly used in a database systems. This affects the sort order applied to strings. To help you understand this, let me show you with an example. So here what I am doing is I am creating a table called uh, T1. Here I already have an open source database uh, Postgres installed. This is the version 11.5 is the version I am using. Let me create a table here called T1. I created a column table one with two columns, column one integer, column two character of 10. Now let me insert this data. I'm inserting one record here. Right? <clears throat> when I say select star from T1, I have only one record. Now let me insert another record here. Sorry, there is a uh, syntax error occurred here. Uh, this quotation is not came properly. So let me 
output it properly. Now what I'm trying to show here is I have inserted two records so far. One is Ravi with capital R lowercase a and Ravi with all capital letters. When I did select star from T1 order by column 2, right? Its first column is ordered by the, the, the whole rows are ordered by this column 2 and this is how the order. So let me insert into T1 values. 503 this time let me give all lower case when i say select start from t1 order by c2 if you look at all are pretty much uh, saying my name but there is a different way they are stored if you look at this order by c2 it is making a choice between whether to order based upon the lowercase r or uppercase r. So the ch choice is it is sorting, the default sorting is based upon the lowercase letters. So now this is decided by this parameter lc underscore collate. lc underscore collate. So you can see that information under locales. Uh, you can also query your specific database to understand it. For example, if you want to see within uh, Postgres, when you list your databases, uh, if you look at these, let's say testdb1 database, your encoding is UTF-8, your collate is English underscore US dot UTF-8. Now, what is this LC underscore C type? Very simple. It helps us to do a character classification, such as what is a lowercase character, what is an uppercase character, what is a digit, what is an uppercase of a character, such kind of a classification, and it can it will help us to do a case conversion from lowercase to uppercase. Again, this is uh, this is a locale setting. And each databases can all can have this uh, character classification as well. Like I've shown here, these databases also have a C type here. Okay. In summary, what we spoke in this presentation is. We learned about a character set. Character set is nothing but a set of characters in a specific language or a bunch of languages together. The code set is a binary representation of these characters. Now, encoding is a mechanism that does this translation from an English character, for example, to its one byte representation. Locale actually specifies all of them in a single environment variable. And based upon the locale, you have to choose your collation order and character classification. Right? The collation order pretty much decide, def defines your order of strings. And character classification gives uh, various ways of classification of a characters like we have seen here uppercase lowercase uh, and digit like that i hope with this uh, uh, you would be able to differentiate these terms when you hear the next time if you have any questions feel free to post in the comment section uh, finally these are the some of the references i used in preparing this Thank you for taking time to listen to this uh, video. Looking forward to talk to you in the next one.